Governor Eric Holcomb wants more money for education and to restore Indiana's rainy day fund. Eyewitness News Kayla Sullivan reports on what lawmakers are already saying about the plans and how you can get involved from our Indiana State House newsroom. It's good news for public education. The Indiana School Boards Association is thrilled Governor Eric Holcomb proposed a $377 million budget increase for K-12 through over the next two years. When given real money, like what's being proposed here, we are driving uh, the increases in support for K-12 education into teacher salary. So that will happen. It's what we use those funds for. And Holcomb's plan doesn't stop there. In addition, he's got a strategy, which we wholeheartedly support, to pay, pay down a, a, a pre-1996 teacher retirement fund liability, which would also in turn free up $69 million annually that could be invested also in tuition support, which will result and teacher pay increases. He wants a balanced budget, a restored reserve fund, and a maintained AAA rating. Democrats on the state budget committee say his proposal is missing crucial elements to help struggling Hoosiers during the pandemic. So many families that are struggling and still in this budget, the food banks across the state of Indiana is still receiving a very stagnant $300,000 that they receive probably close to over a decade. We continue to give um, breaks to, to, to corporate America, uh, big corporations, but, we, but we're not taking care of uh, the smaller uh, mom and pop stores. Holcomb suggests using a little more than $700 million to pay down debt to save money in the future. And even with that, the state should have more than $2 billion in reserves. That, that's nice to do. However, you have bonding and the bonds out there, the bonds are cheap right now. Money's very cheap. Why take money that you can take care of, of in individuals and versus bonding? Holcomb's plan is only the beginning of the discussion. Lawmakers have several months to pass a budget for the next two years. It's solely going to rely on the community and the, to get engaged in this process, to let their voices be heard. From the Indiana State House newsroom, Kayla Sullivan, Eyewitness News.